That's a whole lot of bits. <laughs> One inch. So we have to figure out spacing of how we want these in the board. And how big do we want it? Do we want it like that set and that set? So it's still bigger. Yeah. Stick with that. This one's bit going in here is not enough space. That's about perfect. It should do. And these are going to go down that far. There's one. Okay. Reason not to. Oh, that's nice. That's going to hold it nice and stiff. So, that will hold there. And there you go. One. I was wondering why I was up there. Now we're going to school. Maybe it's the reason. I don't know. Look like they're leaning. Nothing's quite as smooth. Oh, okay. That's better a while. See what we got. Not bad.
clamp this. There we go. That ain't moving. Something about walnut and oak that go well together. Maple's a little too obvious, but oak works well. Then let's go a little tappity tap tap. Actually, better yet. together really nicely.
There. Four. Bit holder. I like it. And then when I want them just sitting on the bench, pop that off, pop that off, put this someplace else and just have a set sitting out. There, look, we are now all in on this project. That's happiness right there. That's a good. That That is very pleasing, I like that. Happiness. So there you have it. This is something I've been wanting to make for a while and I've been mulling over my brain exactly what I wanted for the design of these. Um, they wouldn't work in a stepped design like this because they're all the same height, whereas old auger bits got smaller or shorter as they got smaller. And so I've got wood owls that are down in here, but they're, they're stuck down in the hole because they're, they're shorter and it, making them, it just wouldn't work quite as right. Um, these bit cases were originally sold um, with the bits if you bought the whole set of bits, then you get the case with it free. And several of the manufacturers out there actually bought the cases from a third party manufacturer that made these cases. Um, some of the auger companies actually had their own case that was branded for their own things. Um, but these are, are relatively common and they're great for these with all the, the step sizes. But I didn't want something just like that. I wanted something that was very easy to get to. I can take this tray around. I don't care about them falling out. They're, they're very stable. And then if I do want to travel and take them someplace, because most of the time they're just sitting on my shelf, I can put this on, strap them down, and now they're not going to go anywhere. I can put them in a box and um, they're, they're, they're safe and ready to go. So this is something I, I really like. Um, I'm sure that there are ways I could have made this better, and I'd love to hear those. So if you do have any uh, suggestions on that, let me know that down below. Um, as always, I do love to read the comments down below and any questions and ideas that do come up. Sometimes those give me other ideas for the future so I can make things a little bit better. Also, something new we're starting here. Um, I'm going to be selling small jars with the wood curls from the projects. It's probably only going to be four or six jars uh, per project, but if you'd like to actually get the curls from this actual project with the walnut and white oak, uh, we'll be selling a few of these in the shop. Just an interesting way that if you would like something from the shop, there you go. Each one of them comes with a tag telling what project they come from. And we will have them listed, so if you want one from the Augur Bit set, you can get that down below. On that note, I do want to say a huge thank you to the patrons on Patreon, members here on the channel, people who have clicked that join button. You really are the reason that Wood by Write is still here, so thank you for that. If you'd like to find out more about that, if you'd like to support the channel and quite literally keep the lights on in the shop, um, you can find out more in the links down below. So I think that'll about do it for now, and until next time, have a wonderful day. You know, this is one of those projects that I really uh, I've been putting off for a long time, but I really auger do this because it's a bit too boring. <laughs>